Hi everyone, right, continuing with our topic of suffering. We're looking now at suffering and the film. <clears throat> because this is really fascinating, um, what, what's happening in this bubble. So the, any, any arising of a feeling of a separate individual self, comes with it with a sense of incompleteness, of lack, of, of misalignment, not okayness. And because, because there is in that moment no realization that the suffering is pointing out of the film the suffering is taken as something that can be fixed within this film of self and that is the root of all conflict all exhaustion all stress all anxiety all depression all phobia all paranoia, all self-blame, all um, blame of others, everything. It's, it's the, that's, the, that's, that's the essential misunderstanding that with just a glimpse of what suffering is really saying, what it's really doing, freedom freedom, potential, peace, joy. Without that glimpse, the search is on, the resistance is on within the film to try and make that self feel better, to try and make the self secure, essentially. Try and make the, make the self something, something constant and objective and real and stable and it can't do it 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 can it can't happen um because it's made of thought it's made of thought god I feel quite moved by this because it's so um it's so enormous the it's, it's so tiny and so enormous, really. The, the experience of this self trying to find itself, and I well know decades of this, trying to find itself by in approval, in relationships, in success, in money, in um, possessions, in awards, in qualifications. It, it's it, in, in being right, you know, whatever, whatever. It's looking for what it fundamentally lacks, which is, which is stability and security. And it can never find it. Not, not only because it, it's, it's a thought created concept, so can't, can't ever stabilize itself, but also and beautifully really it's it's looking in a reality that is indistinguishable from the self-concept itself it can't they're, they're made of the same thing so so if i think of me um lightly used me <laughs> um but if i think of the the struggle of a deeply insecure identity of Claire trying to find itself in work and in approval from others. Oh, every so terrified of getting something wrong, analyzing every conversation, um, trying desperately to read minds of what people thought of me. You know, but that is just the same thing. It's made of the same stuff. 
And so, and so we can see how this bubble works, this apparent reality. And how, and also how without this conversation, it, there's no, there's no um, impetus to exit the bubble because it looks like, oh, if only I get the next promotion, if only, if only he asked to marry me, if only um, I could earn enough, if only I had more friends, if only, um, if only I was a bit cleverer, if only I could get this qualification, you know, it's on and on and on. There's no end. There is no end to that seeking, that, that attempt to stabilize an insecure self. And there'll always be these things just out of reach of, oh, if I, if I can get that. So, yeah. That's how it is, isn't it? I hope, I hope we're all starting to see that a bit. The, 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 the spinning within this, within this identity, this unfulfillable identity in a world that only reflects that back. Um, and suffering, as we said yesterday, is the great gift in that. It's the great gift and it's the, um, yeah, without, without this conversation, it's, it drives us deeper, deeper, deeper into the film. Yeah. Hmm. I think we'll leave that one there. Yeah. Be interested to see what you think. Thank you. Bye.